This video explains how to set up multi-factor authentication on a Linux machine. Hello guys, welcome to Simply Clouded. My name is Ashwani Tagi, and today we will see a very interesting topic that is how to set up a MFA on your Linux machine, right? So I hope you guys are aware what is MFA. If not, then let me tell you quickly. Uh, suppose you try to log in your Facebook account or you try to log in a server, then you just enter your username, right? And along with your username, you will enter your password. That means you will tell the system that uh, that is my username. Suppose my name is Ashwani and XYZ, that is my password, right? So that is called a single factor authentication, right? Means you have something by which you are authorized. Uh, in multi-factor authentication, you need to have more than one things means along with your password you should have something uh, right uh, like your OTP or you will receive an email verification or say biometrics so you should have something along with your password that is called a two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication right uh, if you are working IT based industry you might have seen a device called RSA token right that's a hardware device so in this device there is a six digit code so that code is you know changing in every one minute so that is also used for mfa uh, if you try to log in a vpn then you should enter those that code as well so let's try to set up a mfa on our linux server using a google authenticator right it's an open based software tool which is widely used so we will just use that one okay so let me tell you what is our setup uh, that's our jump box server and that is our server one so first we will create a user on both the, both the servers and we will set up a passwordless authentication right we will set up passwordless SSH. so let's do it quickly first add a user root say user test i'll do the same on other server as well Okay, so on jump server, let's just switch to the user and just create a key pair. So gen as key. Let's go to the directory.ssh and you can see this. Here we have two keys. One is idrsa, that's your private key, and rsa.pub, that is a public key. So the basic concept of key pair is do not share your private key with anyone. That's why its name is private, right? You shouldn't share this. So we will share our public key. Uh, let's go to our second server. Let's switch to the user. Okay, now let's just create a directory dot ssh and get the permission. Okay, now let's again or enter the ssh directory and create a file called authorized right and just copy the public key from here to that file okay just change the permission mode six c zero authorized okay so now i have just set up a passwordless authentication for this user called test user so let's just try it the ip of this server one now i'll try to log in the server server one from our jump box so let's just ssh and ip of the user okay so i am there on server one so till now we have just created a 
user called test user and just set up a passwordless authentication for this user right now we are logging to server one using a private key okay instead of password so now we will just start or set up our mfa on server one okay just go to root now we need to install a google authenticator on the server so for that we need to enable a epl repos right so let me quickly do that just a moment okay so just install a epl repo here okay it's done now let's go to directory called etcm dot repos dot d ls sorry ls and you can see that we have epl repos now so now let's try to install our google authenticator So I have just installed a Google Authenticator on our server one, right? So let me just change some configuration files. Let's just clear the screen so that it's visible to you. Let's just edit the file called search the edit this one m.d and ssh and let's just comment the line called password or auth because we don't want any user to log in with password right we want our, all the users to log in with keys and at the end of this file put this line called auth required pam underscore google right so we are adding this line so that will tell our pam that now uh, that google authenticator module is also working on the server right if i'll add this line null log as well at the end of this then it means the user who don't have uh, you know mfa they can also log into the server but we don't require that okay and we need to edit one more line in sshd let's just file and we need to change this response authentication from yes to no right search it okay let's just uncomment this one and command the second line and let's just go to the end of the file and put this entry we will tell our ssh that now our user will log in with public key and a code mfa code right let's just enter this and save the file Now let's just restart the SSHD service. Okay. So now we have just set up our MFA on the server. Now we just want that our user called test one test user will log into the server using our public key and a MFA, right? Our Google Authenticator code. So for that, let's just switch to the user. now i'll install a google authenticator onto my mobile right i have already that in my mobile so let's move forward let's run a command called google authenticator yes and you can see the code you just need to scan this code if it's not come on the screen just do one thing just copy this line 
and paste it here and you will get the code and let me scan it onto my device my mobile okay done now let's give the answer yes one two three yes say no and yes i have done it many times so i remember right so it's done for me right now let me try to log into this server using the test user and see if it's asking for code or not right let me do it from our jump box i've already set up a passwordless user you know i have the private key so our first factor is our private key right so let's try to log in let's see okay so now it is asking for a verification code right let me just check to my device what is the verification code right now uh, okay I just enter the code and okay so now I am there in the server okay so I hope you guys get it uh, <coughs> how to set up a MFA on a Linux server right this is a very you know this is a very useful thing you can secure your you know SSH on the server so I hope this thing will help you and you guys like it so we will meet you on the next session. Till then, thank you. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more such videos at Simply Clouded. To subscribe our channel, please hit the bell icon at the bottom.